Hello, right, it's something different. I said that every video. So it's something that's the same, but different. Anyway, in front of me right now are some old PC parts. Well, some old, some new. Why are they all PC parts on my desk? Well, I had an idea the other day. Uh, about 20 years ago, showing my age now, I had a AMD Athlon. In fact, more than 20 years, 22 years ago. Uh, AMD Athlon 1 GHz Thunderbird Socket A computer with 512 meg of RAM, 40 gig hard drive, a GeForce 2 MX 400, I think it was. And I love that machine, it was great. But a few years ago, I got rid of it. It went to the big PC recycling place in the sky. And I was a bit upset about that now, and I thought, well, you can get the parts cheap on eBay, so why not just build one? Okay, so I'm going to build one. So we've got some of the parts that have come in the post already. The actual motherboard, CPU and RAM hasn't arrived yet, the main thing I bought, but uh, it'll come. So, in front of us, we don't have a GeForce 2, we have a GeForce 4 MX4000, 128 meg of RAM, AGP. It needs a clean, it's a bit filthy. It's dusty there, the bezel, ugh, yeah now dead skin or something, I don't know, whatever it is. And the back needs a little bit of IPA to make it look pretty again. But this is going to be running my games, hopefully. Let's put that to one side. Also replace thermal paste on that, I'm guessing it's like 20 something years old. Thermal paste, CPUs, CPU cooler, a caser, a caser, I don't know how to pronounce it. Caser, I'm going to say. Socket A, this is new old stock, this is brand new. Got it on Amazon of all places. Oh, unboxing. How do I know it's brand new? Because it isn't been crudded up with dead skin. It is absolutely pristine. Even the fan. But yeah, even comes with thermal paste. I'm going to use my own. I've got some in the box. What I use for my current PC build, my um, Ryzen 5600X build I've got right now. Anyway, GPU. CPU cooler, hard drive, two options at the minute, there is a third one coming in the post, but for now, two. Got two devices that convert um, parallel ATA, PATA, into whatever I want it to be. So in this case, compact flash for this one, because it's very much similar to IDE, PATA, and SD card solution. Got loads of SD cards of like 32, 64 gig lying around. Bang them in there, nice big hard drive for that era of computer. So, there they are. How am I going to power it? Am I going to go and get a retro power supply? No, because that'll set on fire. Brand new power supply. Ares game, Aris game, them. AGV 500, 500 watt bronze power supply. And you're thinking, Les, no, why have you bought that? It's, it's, it's going to have SATA power connections and PCI stuff. It's not going to have what you need. Well, no, it does. Bit of research. In other words, look to the Amazon listing. Kind of get it all in shot, probably not. Let's. You can tell I didn't plan this. Molex. Floppy disk drive. So I've got two Molex, one floppy. Very handy. And I've also visually checked it as well. So, let's see what I got. NVIDIA GeForce 4, MX 4128 mega video cards, blah blah blah. 18 quid. I paid a little bit more because it was on with DVI on the back of it. That's quite handy for me, so I've got a DVI monitor. The SD card to ATA, £12.50. Got that to try out, because so I already had the um, compact flash card one handy, so I just wanted to try this out. I've got another one coming, which is that one. These slides are not in the right order. Hey ho. Uh, plugs into the back. Four and a half quid for this one. £4.50. Plugs into the back so I can just take the compact flash card out like I'm quickly removing a hard drive. That's appealing to me. We'll see if it works. Uh, power in the show. 20 quid for, uh, let's see, it's an Asus A7V8XX motherboard. Socket A. Obviously, for the Thunderbird Athlon CPU. 
and it has 512 meg of RAM. I think it's DDR RAM it has on this one. Yeah, it is. I've got the RAM, the motherboard, and CPU for 20 quid. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. And also the back plate to fit into a case. Case wise, not short at the minute. I need to get a DVD ROM and a floppy drive for this. Um, depending on what colours I can get of those for a decent price and decent models depends on what case I get. I really should go with a beige monster, shouldn't I? Really. But we'll see. Could be reverse sleeper. So the outside's all singing, all dancing, RGB, fans and all that sort of jazz. Inside, old PC. So going to the next one, we've seen that one already, and the power supply. So the reason why I got the power supply was it came with the mobile X and floppy drive connections. Exceptionally handy for me. It means I haven't got to buy adapters and mess around. 40 quid, don't know who they are, but they've had good reviews on Amazon, so we'll see. I think that's, oh yeah, nice close up of the image. So you can see it has mobile X and floppy disk drive on the bottom right. Also loads of SATA, PCIe, that sort of thing, and CPU ones, which I'll never use. It's not modular, unfortunately. I'd like to have a modular one, but I can live with that. So, all I'm waiting for now is that to arrive. I need to source DVD drive, floppy drive, and a case. And I'm good to go. I should have some PS2 mice and keyboards in the attic. This is my project. I'm going to mess around with it, see what I can do, see what I can build. Ideally, I want to play Star Trek Voyager Elite Force on it. Love that game back in the day. Yes, I know I can play it on the new one, but I want to play it on old hardware. Just, you know, leave me be. Fun on games, and that's what I'm up to recently. All for now. See you later.